Good afternoon, girls. All the grade nine girls, how are you? Alhamdulillah, how are you? Good afternoon. How your quarantine dates are going on? Alhamdulillah, Miss. But it's a little bit boring. So we are going to start our chapter uh, that, eight, uh, that 18, 19 today, chapter 19, uh, variation. So yesterday we had a talk about what is variation, different types of variation, uh, the differences between variation and uh, causes of variation and the graphical representation of the variation and different types of mutation with their uh, example. And I, we also had a talk about the effect of ionizing radiation and the chemicals on the rate of mutation. Now, uh, girls, I want to ask you one thing. Did you write the notes that I have uh, that uploaded yesterday? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Okay. So if you write that note, you understood that I gave you the notes for sickle cell anemia. I gave you the notes for uh, Down syndrome. So before starting the class, I just want to ask you one thing. Uh, could you please uh, that tell me uh, that, uh, yeah, Tazrian wants, uh, or oh, someone wants a password. Okay. I gave it, I said. Okay, thank you, thank you. Mm, now, that what is variation, girls? What is variation? The observable differences between you and your friends, right? So uh, that if the variation which is uh, that uh, affected with the many pairs of allele and uh, gradual changes, uh, the leading to gradual changes between two extreme of the characteristics and often yeah, that uh, significantly affected with the environment influences, this is continuous variation, like your weight, height, intelligence. And if the characteristics which is control uh, by a single uh, that, uh, gene or small number of gene and it has uh, no effect on the environment and limited number of the phenotypes. This is called discontinuous variation. And like blood group, attachment of the yellow, these all. And what is the reason of this variation? The reason might be during the mucis time, uh, the crossing over asthma and the independence that uh, uh, assortment of the chromosome could create this mucis and during when the half of the chromosome numbers are uh, separating uh, that uh, uh, many the sets of the chromosomes are interchanged uh, during the crossing over it could create the variation for this reason during the fertilization time that millions of sperm among them which one will fertilize or fuse with the uh, that excel depending on them the characteristics uh, maintained mutation also mutation uh, do not occur every time, but it can occur for the X-ray, ultraviolet ray, hmm, and bring the changes. And uh, this mutation uh, may be uh, the result of faulty copying when the DNA is replicated, all the faulty separation of the chromosome. It means it could create the changes on the DNA by sequences or number of the chromosomes also. Now, according to that, you have to, uh, the topic also in your uh, notes, I will explain it today. And there are some environmental if, uh, factor like your lifestyle, uh, that uh, uh, your uh, that uh, nutrition, uh, that uh, and also uh, that how you are maintaining uh, your health. And this also affected with the environment for the plants, the exposure to sunlight and the space mm, where they are growing because plants need a space to grow. And uh, you saw that too uh, that uh, picture of continuous and discontinuous variation. Now girls, which variation, if you represent it graphically, it will give you a histogram diagram, continuous or discontinuous? Miss, can you repeat? Which uh, graph will give you a, a bell-shaped structure? Um, continuous variation. Continuous variation, excellent. So, and I have uh, told you about the spontaneous changes of the gene or the chromosome that may affect the appearance or the physiology of an organism, which is called a mutation, right? You know this. Uh, now, if the mutation happened in the body cell, we call it uh, somatic cell mutation. 
that will kill that body cell and it will not go for the uh, future individuals. It cannot pass to the next generation. And if the mutation occurs in the uh, gene or in the chromosome, that is called gamete mutation. That will uh, that pass to the next generation. So at, if this mutation occurs in the DNA based sequences, we call them gene mutation, uh, like Sigelson anemia. If this mutation occurs in the number or structure of the chromosome or gain or losses of the chromosome, we call it chromosomal mutation, like Down syndrome. And mutation, as I told you, normally it is not going to be happen. Uh, it could be uh, that uh, still the girls are coming. It could be helpful, it could be harmful, or uh, that uh, it could be, uh, uh, you know, that neutral also. So exposure to radiation and some chemicals like tar in smoke increases the rate of mutation. Exposure can cause uncontrolled cell division, uh, leading to the formation of tumor. Exposure to gonad radiation can, gonad mistestis and ovaries. And this radiation can lead to sterility or to damage the uh, gene in the sex cells that can pass to the children. So this is the ionizing radiation uh, and the chemicals uh, effect on the rate of mutation. Now, I'm going to explain today uh, this two problem. I told you chromosomal uh, mutation. The example is Down syndrome and uh, that uh, <coughs> sickle anemia. I will write on the whiteboard and you need to uh, that look. This whiteboard, see uh, girls, here I want to show you long back, like uh, that 18th, uh, 18th uh, during the 18th century, Langdon Down first identified a chromosomal disorder and he gave this name, trisomy. This is 10, this is 10, right? The Roman number. And this is 21. You understood this? And this is 2N. Look, trisomy 21 or twin plus 1, which is known as Down syndrome. This is caused by mutation. Because of mutation during meiosis, now one of the chromosome, okay, uh, like 23 number chromosome, stick to its partner. So the result is, see, normal, what could happen? Normal 23, uh, that N 23, right? This is the normal segregation. And when this 23 will uh, join with another 23, like the spawn cell, haploid nucleus, X cell, uh, haploid nucleus, so it is gonna to form 23, uh, that uh, 23, it is going to form 46, right girls? So this is the that uh, normal number of the chromosome, 46. But during this, uh, uh, you know, that faulty segregation time, what happened? One of the chromosome, which is number 23, will stick to its partner. So this will result, one of the chromosome, the one will stick, it will be 24, and another uh, will be 22, because one has come out from there. Look at the spotlight uh, that uh, from here, see, it should be 23. From here, it is stick to there. So it become 24 and it become 22. Now I uh, want to tell you one more thing. So this is the reason. Huh. So this 20, uh, that three, if you are adding 24 plus 23 normal, so it will be 47. Check girls. And again, this one, if I'm here, uh, that plus 23, it will be 45. So look at this, uh, that uh, calculation. So normally 23, 23, 46 are uh, that normal human being. But during this faulty segregation time, one chromosome number 23 stick to its partner. So it become 24 chromosome and one become 22 chromosome. And if the ovum 24 chromosome fertilize with the, then the fetus will be 47 chromosome. The presence of this extra chromosome causes unusual characteristics in the body. This 47 chromosome, we are telling trisomy 21 or 2n plus 1. Understood this calculation, girls? Is it clear? Yes. Not all, Okay. See, normally 
you have 46 chromosome, right? When during the meiosis time, the four haploid gametes are forming, right? And this gametes contain how many chromosome? 2323. 23. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Or the you came late, maybe that's why. Uh, so check this calculation first. It, it is 2323 23 separating. 23 plus 23, 46. Normal gibot. So 23 sperm nucleus, 23 egg nucleus giving 46. Both are normal. But this is haploid nucleus. Okay. N number. This haploid 23 is the haploid nucleus. We call it haploid or N number. When this 46 is diploid nucleus, we call it 2N. It means body cell also you have 46. Jagger also. Your all the cells have 46 chromosomes. But after meiosis, the gamete cell contain 50%. That's why when it's combined, egg and sperm cell gives you the diploid number of the chromosome. This maintain the uh, chromosome, right, number. And prevent the, uh, the doubling of the chromosome and um, also maintain the structure of the organisms. But sometimes what happened, you know, that during this meiosis time, one of the chromosome, 23 number chromosome, uh, that uh, stick with, uh, that uh, 24 number of chromosome uh, stick with its partner so instead of 23 i'll show you with the spotlight uh, so instead of this 23 the now the chromosome number become 24 so if this chromosome number 24 this gamete combined with another gamete and this zygote will be after fertilization it will be 47 chromosome and this baby will we have lots of uh, the physical and unusual characteristics in the body, we call it Down syndrome. And if the one which has been removed, the 23 number chromosome has been removed and stick with the partner, so it becomes 22 instead of 23. And this is 45 chromosome. This problem is another problem. This organism will have one less chromosome, but that is not in our syllabus. So this is the 47 chromosomes. Uh, this we call Down syndrome. Now, what are the symptoms? I gave you many symptoms, but you don't need to learn this all. But minimum six, seven, you need to know. So girls, I hope you understood. Now I, I will stop sharing. Let's uh, that come back. If you have any question, you can ask. So first thing that this child mentally, okay, and yes. uh, that why yes, did it become twenty four and twenty? Um, this I told you faulty segregation. This is mutation. Okay. During the mutation, that uh, due to the mutation, that it will separate uh, that wrong way. It's not uh, that uh, regular way. That that's the reason I told you that faulty segregation. So, girls, that. But Miss, why is it twenty four and twenty three? Isn't it supposed to? There are many others. You don't need to know in your syllabus. Only Down syndromes are there. That's why I'm explaining this only. There are many other. Sometimes that uh, uh, disorder occurs due to duplication of the gene, due to a small part, like five number chromosome joined with the 21 number chromosome, and the child will make that cat sound. So simple, that problem will give you simple symptom. But one whole chromosome added uh, with, uh, with the, another chromosome, it will give you, uh, you know, that uh, lots of different unusual characteristics. So as your, uh, that uh, syllabus has only Down syndrome, so I'm explaining this, but there are lots of disorder girls, not only Down syndrome. Okay, so first thing, yes, yes. yes. Miss, um, I actually have a brother who's Down syndrome, but is mm -hmm. it because the division of the chromosomes? Yes, Down syndrome child, you have a brother. Yes. Okay, Down syndrome child, of course, this is for 47 chromosome. Huh. But uh, I'm really sorry for that. And But, you know, they are really adorable. These childs are really adorable. And uh, if you see that uh, the symptoms I gave you in the notes, but don't think all the symptoms will be for one person. Understood? Some of them will have some of the points, maybe that uh, Down syndrome child not, but usually I clump all type of points, but one person will not get all the that uh, uh, symptoms, right? But maximum symptom, the common symptom, I try to give you. So 47 chromosome, now, nowadays what happened, you know, in developed country, uh, when the mom is uh, that uh, conceive a child, uh, when a woman is uh, that, carry, that conceive a child, 
first three months is uh, that uh, uh, very uh, premature time, right? So they are taking the fluid from the, uh, that uh, uh, amniotic fluid from the sac, and then they're going to do the test. If that chromosome number is 47, then they abort the child. So that's why in developed country, especially the European country, number of the trisomic child is less. But according to Relation, who, who we are, okay, to kill the child. Because God didn't give this permission. Killing means that if you are killing the, uh, the a person in the home, means the equal punishment you will get if you are killing a person in uh, that uh, uh, that uh, in your life uh, like or that uh, normally in the society so killing is like uh, is not permitted in our religion so we cannot do it so either trisomic because i know my sister when she was conceiving this child they she's in australia so they, they she went to the hospital and uh, she was uh, two months pregnant and the doctor uh, took the uh, that sample from the amniotic fluid to check this trisomic child, then she told that I don't want to do this test because if the child is trisomic or not trisomic, doesn't matter, I will not abort that child. So what the use of knowing the child is trisomic or not? Because I'll not abort. Because if I know the child will, will be trisomic, it will give me a pressure, right? So better no need to know because I'll not abort the child. So according to our religion, actually, we are not uh, uh, that supporting this. That's why uh, even uh, that uh, many country trisomic child still there are many number even Bangladesh trisomic and the downstream of child are more but European country they actually abort the child it doesn't mean that they are not having this and nowadays you know that our unhealthy lifestyle and unhealthy uh, that uh, especially uh, the consumption of food and we depend on more that uh, uh, that uh, first food and the packet food uh, that teen food these are all using more microwave uh, that food so these all create this, uh, uh, increases the chance of mutation and mutation can happen anytime in any parts of your body. This is the reason actually girls that Down syndromes are nowadays increasing. So what is the symptoms of this Down syndrome? First, physical and mental retardation. This child will be like a baby. Whatever you are seeing, they'll not be able to understand uh, that like a baby, the way we're explaining, it doesn't mean uh, girls, they will be violent, they will disturb you, they will make like the baby the way you are handling. So physical and mental retardation. And if you notice, their face is a distinctive round face and the short neck. Many of us, we have round face, but if you look at their round face, it's a bit different. Like uh, the very round, like whole circle. And their neck, see, uh, we all, some of us also have short neck, but you will understand this short neck means as if that, uh, they are, uh, that there is no gap in between. And they have a very small nose and the nasal breeze from forehead, which is going down, that nasal breeze is flat and eyes that slant upwards and outwards. They have a small skin fold on the inner corner of the eyes. Single uh, that uh, if you look at their thumb on the hand, you will be seeing that deep crease across the center of the palm. They have broad hand with short fingers. Actually, many of us have short uh, that uh, fingers, broad hand, but it doesn't look no, uh, that abnormal. But if you notice one Down syndrome child, you will understand something is there. It is not clear. And I have seen that some people are opening their tongue every time. They couldn't keep it inside. If you are keeping them inside, the tongue is always coming out. These also I have seen. But that is also rare. You know, I have seen one Down syndrome child in uh, that one park I went. Uh, there is one mall uh, when my son was a small i went there i have seen when that boy has come i feel something is different it's not like that but the boy is very uh, that happy and he was playing with all the uh, that uh, you know that uh, uh, that park there are lots of the kids uh, item right like airplane car horse so he was riding them all huh? but when you look at him you will feel something is problem then when i carefully look at him but his symptom was less I saw his eyes, it's like big eyes, as if his eyes are coming out. This is the one of the symptoms of this Down syndrome. And when I look at his hand, his fingers are like, looks like jointed. It's not separated. And the deep crease also between the palm. And that, uh, the, you know, that hands looks, uh, not, not, doesn't look like normal, broad hands. And the fingers also very short, short. And if you look at their toe, that boy was wearing shoe, I didn't understand that. 
the biggest space between the first and second toe. We call them sandal gap, big gap between them. And they have the air also, that the shape of the air also not normal. Sometimes uh, as if uh, the twisted schemes are uh, there. Uh, and when they born, their uh, that uh, birth uh, body mass and uh, their length of their uh, body and the weight of their uh, the body was below Everest. Hmm. And uh, often, most of the time, they have heart problem or hormonal problem like hypothyroidism. And that's why, uh, did you, uh, that, uh, have you seen that many abnormal children programs are going on, even the Bangladesh, the TV show, they're showing how to uh, that, uh, you know, organize them, how to teach them and make them a valuable citizen for the society. And if, if you notice this, you will be seeing that maximum Down syndrome ch child are obese because they have hormonal problem, which we call hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism means that lack of thyroid hormone, which, you know, that uh, your metabolism, it decreases. So the food you are taking, it is not converting uh, that are, uh, energy properly. So instead of converting the uh, food uh, to the energy, they are storing in the body. And the patient is getting a lack of, having lack of energy. He couldn't do the work properly, but he is gaining weight. So that uh, your metabolism has been controlled with a small butterfly type hormone on your, uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, throat. So this hormone couldn't produce uh, that thyroid hormone properly. So like this uh, hormonal problem, like especially hypothyroidism is very common. So they have to take medicine to control their hormone level. And this, uh, that uh, Down syndrome child, their reproductive organs do not develop properly. Uh, so this disease cannot inherit it. So Down syndrome child, uh, that if they have more symptoms, it will not. But sometimes nowadays, the, that maybe the Down syndrome child has a less problem. I saw uh, that uh, one Down syndrome baby is working in a coffee shop and she is working nicely. Okay, uh, so I uh, like that way uh, and uh, especially different kind of handicrafts uh, that like cards, uh, jewelry box, uh, the uh, different beads uh, that uh, showpiece they are making. And uh, if you go to the, in Bangladesh I have seen, if you go to the shopping mall, it's written this product made by uh, that uh, disabled child, please buy this product to encourage them. And we all should help this. It's the, you are buying the cars for many reasons. You are buying the shoppies for many reasons. So in that time, if you're buying this abnormal child product, it will encourage them. It will help them to survive in the society. Because see, if a child is having this problem, till the time their parents are with them, they will survive by the parents. After the parents, who is going to look, take care of them? And you don't know how long they will survive, right? So maximum time, they will not get very long life span. That's true. Like you cannot expect that uh, uh, the Down syndrome child will complete the 50, 60 years old. No, but till their parents, they are safe. But after the parents, who is going to take care of them? This is one of the uh, problem of Down syndrome. So girls, what is the symptoms of Down syndrome? I have told you many symptoms, right? Physical and mental retardation, uh, distinctive round face and the short necks, uh, small nose and flat nasal grease, eyes that slant upward and outwards, small skin folds on the inner corner of the eyes, single deep crease across the center of the palm, uh, broad hands with short fingers, a big space between the first and second toe, small abnormally uh, that shaped ear, uh, below average weight and the length at, uh, during the birth. Uh, often they have heart problem and hormonal problem like hypothyroidism, Reproductive organs do not develop properly. Therefore, this disease cannot be inherited. Now tell me, have you seen this kind of child around you? Girls, have you seen this kind of child? No, miss. I, no, I miss um, you did not see. So no. actually you can yes, uh, go did. to the YouTube to see the video uh, of the Down syndrome child. Go and uh, watch one or two video. You'll understand. I think I saw... You're, you're doing one, request. Um, uh, uh, one request to you all, if you have seen this kind of child, give respect. Girls, you are healthy. This is not your achievement. That person is having Down syndrome problem. This is not 
his achievement. This person will go to the heaven directly, right? We have to answer to the creator. So my request to you all, you understood why the Down syndrome patient comes to the world. This is not their fault. So you should not neglect these people. You should respect them and you should treat them equally the way you are treating a normal person. Because abnormal people or these disabled people, if you are showing any disrespect, you have to answer to your creator. Because you are healthy today is not your achievement. God makes you healthy. You should uh, thank to God that, Ya Allah, you make me healthy. You have given me a perfect feature. That person didn't have this, hmm, so forgive him also. So this should be the uh, behavior and outlooking. Hmm, many, you know, in our society, many people are telling different, different things. Even I know one uh, that, uh, uh, that lady, she was telling that when she delivered her first child was trisomic, like Down syndrome, right? And when she went for the second child, Okay, then people were telling her that when she delivered first child, people are telling this is some the this is the, because uh, that she did some bad thing. So God cursed her. That's why she got this kind of child. Astaghfirullah. Really, if this kind of thinking also haram. Actually, that mother is special. God has chosen her and given her a special child because she is special to the God. And after here, after life, she will be in the highest place and will be in the, you know, that back place. We cannot reach to that place. God has chosen this mom to give this Down syndrome child because she is special. God knows my, this, uh, that uh, uh, servant can't maintain whatever the responsibility I have given to her. So girls, don't think this is the curse. This is uh, this thing. Some many, you know, that uh, uh, that things we are always thinking by seeing an abnormal child. First thing we it came to your mind, God gave this punishment. No, this is not punishment. This is reward. You don't know. Okay. So always think huh, positively and be happy and thankful to God that you are healthy. So, and even that, that lady, when she went for the second child and all her relatives were telling that she has a lot of girls because she got one abnormal child. She is going for the second child. If the second child become abnormal, what could happen? Then that lady was telling, no matter, I'm not going to do the trisomic baby, uh, that uh, test also. If the baby is trisomic, if the God is giving me trisomic child, I'll accept this, no problem. This is my exam in this world and I want to pass this exam. So girls, those family have this child. They are a special family. So God has chosen them for a special reward. Remember that. So your look for the abnormal child should change every time. You know, this next question, if I want to describe, I hope you understood this all, right? This yes. trisomic child, huh? Is there any, uh, anyone is having any question about regarding this girls? You can uh, write this answer or question also if you do, if you don't feel to ask. You can write the message uh, that in the mass uh, the chat box if you have any question. Now I will go for sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia actually this is not giving you so many uh, that uh, symptoms like malaria. Uh, sorry, like uh, Down syndrome. <clears throat> By looking externally, you will not be able to understand also this person is having sickle cell anemia because this is uh, that internal problem. I, that's the reason I told you this, uh, uh, you know, this gene mutation. Okay, this, uh, if you look at the differences, uh, gene mutation is small scale alteration, but chromosomal mutation is considered serious alteration. That's why the differences I gave you that gene mutation is a change in the nucleotide sequences, means DNA based sequences in a particular gene. So it gives you small alteration, means a small characteristics uh, problem. But chromosomal mutation, severe changes, serious alteration occur. Uh, girls, I have six minutes, so I need to draw uh, that uh, sickle cell anemia. Ah, so I will do it, but before that, I want to tell you this sickle cell anemia. What is sickle cell anemia? See, when uh, what happened, you know, that uh, faulty hemoglobin is present in the red blood cell. Okay, uh, due to the uh, uh, mutation, uh, that black pigment, right? A mutation occurs in the 
blood hemoglobin blood pigment hemoglobin so that hemoglobin uh, that uh, faulty hemoglobin present in the red blood cell see the situation so when this faulty hemoglobin is present in the red blood cell it causes the cell to deform and become sickle shape i'll draw this in my next session just listen what i'm telling right now when the red blood cell you know the red blood cell have biconcave shape right and instead of that shape it becomes sickle shape okay so uh, this uh, sickle shape and you know that the special uh, that shape of the red blood cell their biconcave shape allow them to pass through the thin red blood cell right and also uh, like a single file they can pass to the uh, capillary and also diffuses the materials like oxygen uh, to the body cell right gaseous exchange can happen but when this red blood cell become sickle shape this distorted uh, shape they couldn't be able to carry the amount of hemoglobin they should okay they will have less hemoglobin and you know hemoglobin is the substance which pick the oxygen and combine with the oxygen and form oxyhemoglobin then it transport this oxygen through the blood and deliver this oxygen to every body cell your body cell use this oxygen to uh, break down the food molecule which is known as respiration aerobic respiration in presence of oxygen your body cell break down the food molecules and you get the, uh, that energy and you know the use of energy but if the oxygen become less your body will not get sufficient amount of oxygen to break down the food molecule to perform the aerobic respiration and you will get less energy so so red blood cell when it becomes sickle shape or distorted it has less hemoglobin so less efficient at transporting oxygen which causes less respiration and less energy patient will be less active sometimes total inactive we can say but less active uh, feeling tired every time or breathless and susceptible to infection if you don't have energy how you will uh, that prevent uh, that having infection because uh, and you know always you will be tired because the amount of uh, energy you need that will be less and you will be tired not only tired you will feel breathless also and sometimes due to of uh, this distorted or sickle shaped red blood cell will stuck in the that capillary because they couldn't pass due to their shape now uh, the capillaries are blocked due to the sickle shape of the red blood cell and causes pain it also reduces or causes slow growth of the patient and the person may die before puberty thus understood what i have told you again i'm telling red blood cells will be sickle shape or distorted shape and this distorted red blood cell and uh, will have less hemoglobin so it will be less e efficient to transport oxygen which causes less respiration and less energy it will produce less energy less respiration means less energy and why respiration less because lack of oxygen it couldn't break down the food molecule and the patient become less active you will be active if you get the energy if you don't have the energy how you are going to uh, work properly now now see uh, that girls i want to uh, that's i'm seeing here that many students are joining and then they are going oh, i can understand it was 17 or 19 participant now it becomes 16 okay uh, see that uh, so the patient the patient will be uh, less active they will feel tired or breathlessness and they will be susceptible to the infection capillaries uh, capillaries block due to the sickle shaped red blood cells and causes pain and where it will be black uh, that uh, where it will block the capillaries the red blood cell any places in your body inside the capillary this uh, distorted red blood cell could create a blockage and it will be it will give a severe pain to that patient and you know that uh, due to this reason as see if normally in air uh, if any person do not take food it will affect his growth also right thus a uh, growing a child if the child is not taking sufficient amount of nutrients it will affect her growth also that's why we are always telling that you people are now in teenager you are in the growing stage so this growth is part time if the uh, that uh, boys or girls do not take the uh, that nutrient 
sufficient, especially according to the quality and quantity, sufficient amount if you are not taking, it will hamper your growth also. So that uh, same thing, even though this sickle shell, uh, this uh, sickle cell anemic patient is taking nutrients due to the lack of oxygen, their body will not produce sufficient amount of energy. This causes their slow growth and the person, many of the time, they will die before the puberty. So girls, I have uh, less than one minute. I'm coming back. Okay. Uh, Okay, girls, uh, that I'm going to give you the link again. Huh? I have less than one minute. Huh? Coming back. Thank you. Amen. Hello, everyone. Almost everyone has joined. Let's start our second session. Okay. So now uh, I was talking about the sickle cell anemia. This I will draw on the whiteboard and you just see. So what happened during that uh, mutation when the faulty, uh, that hemoglobin, uh, that faulty hemoglobin is present in the red blood cell. Okay, so it causes the cell to deform and become sickle shaped. I'll show you that, uh, uh, that uh, how the sickle shapes are like that. If you notice sickle shaped red blood cell will be, no, it's- uh, Miss, Can you be more specific in what do you mean by faulty hemoglobin? Faulty hemoglobin, that normally hemoglobin, sh that the structure shape, it will not be like that. Okay, so I want to show you, look, it will be like that shape. This is structure. Look, red blood cell will be this type of shape. And normally red blood cell, you know, this bi uh, biconcave shape, right? This is the normal red blood cell. So if the red blood cell become like that, okay, because of the mutation, red blood cell become distorted. Okay, and the, the amount of hemoglobin will be less in this kind of shape. And you know that thinnest red, uh, that capillary, the thinnest blood vessel capillary, through oh. the capillary, the uh, red blood cell, yeah, the biconcave shape of the red blood cells, they are moving yeah, in a single file. Yeah, and at the same time, they're distributing the... Excuse me. Could you please mute your sound? Now, if your that uh, red blood cells are not having this biconcave shape and it become this sickle shape, it do you think it can pass through the uh, uh, the thin capillary very uh, well? No. Sometimes it could stuck over there and it will be creating a severe pain also. And the oxygen level in the blood become low because hemoglobin uh, will be less. And this, uh, the faulty hemoglobin will not carry the sufficient amount of oxygen. So in this state, the sickled red blood cell are not efficient to transport oxygen and more likely to become stuck in the capillary because of this structure, this shape. Now, they will also prevent the blood flow. So this faulty allele is dominated by the allele of normal hemoglobin. I will write that also. So uh, girls, you, you have seen that uh, notes also, which I gave you. Uh, you can understand this somewhat, okay. Now, I want to tell you that it's, uh, it's very tough to write that uh, upper uh, later, like H, B, what happened? H, B, and this, this will be top. I uh, Here, I couldn't uh, write the top uh, part. Okay, so what did I do here? I'm trying to write here, top part here. Uh, N, let's see it is coming. No, it is not coming. Now, okay, let me that uh, do the... So, this thing, uh, I'll just erase this. I'll do the text again. So HB, uh, girls, you have seen yesterday, HB, there, that top will be N, but N I couldn't write here, just write HBN and this HBN, uh, that this is normal hemoglobin, the N, that uh, this N is the normal hemoglobin and this person will not have anemia. Okay, normal. 
so as it is written capital n huh, hb capital n hmm. so let's see i can uh, write this or not uh, so this is actually like that h then b stop to write and the n will be here top this is like that hmm. and another one will be hb i'm trying to write girls look because if i'm showing you n beside you'll not be able to understand that's why i'm writing on top okay good i can make you understand but n is capital now i you can understand this is normal hemoglobin no anemia but some people are heterozygous look heterozygous means this will be like that hbn HBS. Yes, S is the look. This is heterozygous. So some abnormal hemoglobin that person will have, but this is called sickle cell trait. It is not life threatening. This person will survive. Okay, and this person will also survive. Now one more. The one will not survive. Hmm those who are recessive hb is hbs i feel that uh, those who are writing uh, learning how to write new you know abcd i feel i'm writing like that <laughs> actually this is drawing this is not writing so look uh, this HBS and HBS, this is abnormal hemoglobin and this is sickle, this patient will have sickle cell anemia and this is life threatening. So girls, suppose a person is having uh, this, look at the spotlight, HBM and HBM, this one, HBM, so this is uh, that normal hemoglobin, no anemia. This person will be sickle cell. So some abnormal hemoglobin sickle cell trait will be there, which is not life threatening. Uh, that's why I told you this is codominance. And this is life threatening. This person will not survive. You know, some area where uh, malaria is uh, very common. So if you observe that area, you will be seeing that maximum pair that uh, people over there are heterozygous, like that HBA, HBS. Why? Because uh, malaria is caused by a parasite like uh, uh, with a mosquito like plasmodium vivus. This is a life threatening disease caused by a parasite hmm, that invades red blood cell. This parasite carried by some species of mosquitoes, so especially the hilly region, this kind of uh, the big, big mosquitoes are there. However, if the person is HBN, HBN, this person is having the problem because malaria can't breed uh, that complete the life cycle in this normal people blood and this people will die due to malaria. And the, uh, the person, those who have HBS, HBS, this patient, malaria will not occur because uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, this Malarial parasite couldn't complete its life cycle due to this distorted uh, that uh, hemoglobin. So this patient will not die in malaria, but this patient will die due to sickle cell anemia. See, HBN, HBN, this person is dying due to malaria. HBS, HBS, this uh, person is dying due to malaria, but benefited is this organism, those who are heterozygous. See, the person with heterozygous for sickle cell anemia has protection from malaria because of HBS allele. This HBS allele gives them protection from malaria and HBN allele gives them sufficient amount of normal red blood cell to run their life. So because the malarial parasite is unable to invade and reproduce in the sickle cells. Uh, so this person will survive. This person will die 
so that homozygous dominant will die due to, to malaria homozygous recessive will die due to uh, that uh, sickle cell anemia but heterozygous will survive this person will not die either uh, that uh, anemia or that uh, uh, malaria so this pe uh, people will survive and when they will marry look i'll show you when uh, they will uh, marry again uh, to a heterozygous person if you are sh uh, showing that cross look uh, what did i sh uh, to, uh, what did i tell you girls when two heterozygous persons are uh, marrying what kind of uh, that uh, ratio you are going to get I need the feedback from you girls. Three to is it fifty-fifty? So suppose two heterozygous, three to one, right? Can you remember? That's why I told you that these are all oh, okay. related. Three to one. So if this this two heterozygous are uh, because I told you that area, this uh, HBN HBN will die for the malaria. HBS HBS will die before puberty because of sickle cell anemia. So heterozygous people will be available, right? So this heterozygous people, when they will marry with the heterozygous people, again, huh, there will be three to one ratio and 50% will be heterozygous, right? And when this, they are, uh, that sickle cell, uh, like that, this one and this one, this child will die. And this one, okay, I'll just uh, erase this. Ah, let's see, this. You need time to understand, no problem. Next class also, we'll do it, no problem. Huh. So if you are going uh, back to the cross, you will understand this, see. And th uh, this one, look. So your this organism will die for the, uh, that uh, malaria. But look, this heterozygous, this one and this one, okay. And uh, this will survive, right? And this one and this one. This one and this one. So 50% will be heterozygous. They will survive. They will survive more. They will reproduce. And they will pass their advantageous trait to their offspring. And their offspring will survive more. That's why uh, the if you see the distribution of malaria and sickle cell anemia, if, you, uh, if you're seeing in a map also of the world, you will get that the two co-incident in tropical areas because selective advantage of the HB allele is providing protection against the malaria. It means you will get more heterozygous people over there because HBS, HBS, this is dying for the sickle cell anemia and the homozygous dominant HBN, HBN dying for the malaria. Only heterozygous people are surviving. That's why you will not get these two types of people. All the organism, if you see the distribution of the organism, you'll be getting more heterozygous organisms. Understood, girls? The distribution, uh, the, uh, the question I have given you, sickle cell anemia and explain its incidence in the relation to that of malaria. Clear, girls? I have yes, finished no. the explanation of variation. Now, tell me, do you have any question? Miss, if you don't mind, can you explain only the beginning because I got suddenly disconnected. Beginning is the variation. Not... Uh, beginning which no, one? No, yeah. this one, this one, the beginning of this one. This, this, uh, this, uh, this phase. Yes, miss. Okay. Yes. See, the, when the person uh, have this uh, gene mutation, their, uh, that DNA based sequences has been changed. And due to this reason, their red blood cell, instead of this biconcave shape, they will get this type of shape. See? This is uh, this uh, distorted shape red blood cell couldn't have sufficient amount of hemoglobin. So their amount of hemoglobin uh, less means amount of oxygen will be less. So this person will have permanent anemia. Okay, they will have tiredness, shortness of breath, frequent infection. These are all the problems this person will have. And these people couldn't survive long time and they will die before puberty. So this couldn't uh, pass from a homo uh, that sickle cell patient to the offspring. But it can pass in another way. Look, if two heterozygous people get married, they are 25% child. Look, this one and this one. 25% child will be sickle cell. So in this way, if a family do not have any history of having sickle cell anemic patient, but that family could have a child with sickle cell patient if the parents both are heterozygous. Understood? So heterozygous... Yeah. 
Yes, yes. That's why I told you the three rules of this, uh, that uh, genetics, right? If homozygous dominant and homozygous recipe uh, you cross, you will get 100% heterozygous organism. If two heterozygous you have crossed, right. you will get three to one ratio and 25% will come to the recipe characteristics. And if you are crossing with heterozygous with the recipe, you will get one to one ratio. And whole genetics will explain in this way. So, and uh, this, those who have HBN, HBN, and even girls, this sickle cell, red blood cell will stuck in the capillary. It will create a severe pain also. And the distribution of the oxygen also uh, uh, not uh, happen properly due to the distorted shape. And if the person is normal, HBN, HBN, this is the normal person, and that person will die due to malaria in malarial area, not all the every time or every area. And if the person is heterozygous, he will survive because in presence of, as it is co-dominant uh, girls, this HBN will produce sufficient amount of normal uh, that uh, red blood cell, which help them to survive uh, and run his life. But in presence of this HBS allele, it gives them benefits, hmm, uh, these organisms, uh, because uh, the presence of this HBS allele, this malarial parasite couldn't complete their life cycle properly due to the presence of this HBS allele. So these heterozygous persons are surviving in malarial area and this parent will grow, they will complete the reproduction and this characteristics will come to the offspring. If the offspring become normal, they will die due to malaria. If the offspring become recessive like HBS, HBS, they will die due to sickle cell anemia. Only heterozygous will be selected. That's why if the area has more malarial problem, if you see the coincidence of the distribution, you will be seeing that all the person, those who are adult, they are all heterozygous. Homozygous, uh, maybe they are dying in the small age and the homozygous is dominant will die due to the malaria. Homozygous recipe will die for the sickle cell anemia, but heterozygous will survive. This is actually advantageous trait, you can say. But if the two heterozygous people got married, they will have 25% homozygous dominant and 25% homozygous recessive. So this is also in past paper. When we are going to solve the past paper, we will be seeing that there is a question like that. Even there is no history in the family, but one of the child got this sickle cell anemia. Why? In the time you have to explain that both the parents are heterozygous. That's why parents do not have the symptom, but they have the allele. So as both the parents are heterozygous, there is a chance of having 25% child to have this problem. And there will be genetic cross also. You have to draw the cross to show how 25% child become uh, that uh, sickle cell anemic patient, even though their parents are not having this problem. Sometimes they're asking questions like that. In uh, suppose any country, no one is having uh, that uh, sickle cell anemic disease. Okay, uh, that uh, why? So in that time you can ask, maybe mutation did not occur, right? In that area, or the people have some genetic protection, that's why uh, that they are not having this kind of problem. Or the people, those who are heterozygous or the sickle cell patient have not migrated here. So they didn't marry anyone like that uh, to have this kind of problem. Understood, girls? Yes, ma'am. So this whole chapter is variation. Uh, I told you what, uh, did you uh, uh, check the syllabus after variation, then selection? Hey, who is drawing this? Who is this? Uh, could you please tell me that uh, what could be the, uh, after selection, what we are going to do? Uh, just check the syllabus and inform me. I told you that day also. Just give me a message, okay? So next class, maybe I'll start uh, a selection. But girls, the problem is uh, after selection, there will be uh, two, three weeks I will do the past paper. Maybe okay, after selection, paper four, and right? I will start paper six also. No problem, online, I'll draw the picture. I'll show you even the, I will draw in my past paper and that's the first paper I'll show. So it will not be a problem uh, for us to complete our classes online. Don't worry, we can finish. Okay. And uh, one, uh, one reminder to you all, please clear your uh, tuition fees as the teachers are taking classes and the basic resources are not 
uh, reduced. Uh, recording uh, that uh, for what? Nashit, I didn't understand. Today's class. Today's class recording for uh, whom? But if I send the recording also, there will be no picture. <laughs> no, it's okay. fine. We just need. Uh, ah, if you have any confusion, you can uh, that uh, call me also. No problem. But okay. first, just try to absorb the notes, girls. It will be more clear when we are going to solve the past paper. Don't worry. Hmm. Just if you understand the basic thing, it's okay. Because after selection, when I will go to the past paper, in that time, you will understand what kind of questions are coming and how you are going to solve. And I will take the test also, small test, hmm. not from the past paper. And within two, three minutes, we'll submit that paper uh, in WhatsApp. So that also slowly, huh? just because we have started our online classes, this is our third week, right? Third week, so everyone, you need time to adjust, we need time. So Alhamdulillah, now we have adjusted nicely. Hmm. So we will do the test also, don't worry. 30 marks assessment, I will take from the inheritance from here. I'll give you the question, don't worry. But make sure that your personal work sub chatting has to be closed in that time. Okay, girls? Thank you. Huh? See you in the next week. Yes, dear. Can you repeat what you said? I'm going to, uh, that uh, I told you that I'm going to take a test. One assessment I'll take uh, online. When, miss? Uh, that I will, uh, that you just get ready, maybe uh, after completing the past paper. Is it inheritance? Yes, inheritance. Um, miss, I have a question about today's sure. work. Uh, if 47 is Down syndrome, mm -hmm. then what is 45? 45 is, is another thing, but 45 is not uh, that uh, in the syllabus. That's why I didn't explain. 45 also there okay. have some sort of symptom. Okay, thank you, girls. Okay, miss. Okay, bye. Thank you, miss. Thank you, miss. Bye, bye. bye, teacher. Bye.